It's amazing. Jose, when you first started, you were about half the size that you are now. They right? really, really grow on you. It's really a pleasure to introduce to you Oscar De La Hoya, the head of Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, Oscar, as you know, fought most of his career under the banner of top rank. He was a wonderful fighter, uh, a great champion, a great credit to the sport, and I'm really so delighted that he is now devoting himself absolutely full-time uh, to promoting uh, fights uh, and events uh, in boxing because he is somebody that the sport really looks up to and uh, uh, there will be great things uh, that Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy will be doing in the future. So Oscar, come on up and introduce you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you very, very much. It, it really is an honor, Bob, to be next to you, and because you're you're a person who has been doing this for more than what forty years, forty five years, and forty eight years. I mean, this is a person that I really look up to because you know now that I'm a promoter, what better person? Uh, than Bob Arum to, to learn the ropes and, and, and learn how to promote and take these, these fighters' careers, you know, and, 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 uh, and, and watch the progression of, of, of you know, their, 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 their boxing careers and, 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 and help them grow as a fighter and, and build their careers. It's, it really is a pleasure for me to, um, and an honor because, look, Bob Arum is Bob Arum. He's 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 like he's like an icon. He's like he's like this person who we all have to admire for what he's done for boxing is incredible. He's put up some amazing fights, and uh, you know he has he has now uh, um, Todd Todd DeBuff is doing you know a lot a lot of work and d doing the same thing putting up great fights and running the business and so it really is admirable and and for me personally as as a young promoter um i i um you know i i, I learned from everything that you've done so so thank you very much on behalf of golden boy promotions um for paving the way and continuing and for many more years to pave the way um, on how it's done um, but I, I do have to say, Bob. I do have to say. I actually came here because I want to take a picture with the top ring. Uh, uh, come on, Bob. Was this your idea, Bob? Make sure you send it to We're actually starting the golden girl, the, the golden boy girls. That's yeah. Pays off the uh, book there. But on a serious note, um, first of all, thank you, HBO. Thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. Um, it really is a pleasure to be working uh, with you guys and, and bringing, bringing the best of the best um, to all the fans out there. You know, when I say, when I say that we're going to give the best fights to the fans, I really mean it. And I'm glad... Um, that top rank has always been on the same page, has always had that same mentality, and it's really a pleasure to be working with other promoters and just making the best fights happen for the fans. That's 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 priority, the fans. So um, it really is my pleasure to be working here on this great card. Thank you, the Cosmopolitan. Thank you for the opportunity. You have a beautiful hotel. Uh, we've we've staged uh, some fights here, and we've always had a wonderful, wonderful. Uh, wonderful experience. Fader Banucci, uh, Vice President of uh, Entertainment of the uh, Cosmopolitan, thank you very much for, for, for your hospitality. Peter Nelson, HBO, thank you. Uh, thank you for always keeping that door uh, wide open uh, at HBO. Mauricio Herrera. Now, Mauricio Herrera is a fighter who, I don't know how many of you know when he fought uh, Provodnikov. 
mean, Mauricio Herrera beat Provotnikov, okay? Mauricio Herrera, Mauricio Herrera went up against probably the best 140 pounder in the division in Danny Garcia. If you all remember that fight, I think we did a poll on, on Ring Magazine, uh, uh, on ringtv.com, and 95% of the voters, which were thousands, uh, said that uh, Mauricio Herrera won that fight hands down. So we're, 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 we're having, we're witnessing here a fighter who, as my partner would like to call Bernard Hopkins, uh, a throwback, you know, crafty, experienced, um, rejuvenated fighter, you know, who's hungry, who love what he does, and he has fun doing it. Now those fighters who have fun doing it in the ring, wow, they're dangerous. And that's what Mauricio Herrera is. He's very dang tricky, tricky dangerous. Because he can take you to the deep waters. Ooh, boy. Be careful. And he knows how to swim. He can swim, right? You go deep waters and wow, be careful. So it's, it's going to be a great fight because Benavides is a crafty, good fighter um, who's, who's, who has a great record. He's growing, he's learning, he's building. And this is, this, is a, this is a great fight. A great, great fight. It's gonna be a really good fight. So um, it's just these types of fights that um, I'm really looking forward to uh, in the future uh, of, of putting together with Bob and with Top Rank. So uh, this is what boxing should, should, should be. This is what the sport should be. And, um, and this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. So it is my pleasure to introduce to you with a record of 21 and four, seven knockouts. He's a WBA interim super lightweight world champion out of Riverside, California, Mauricio El Maestro Herrera. Oh, thank you guys for having me here. And I um, want to thank Oscar for all the stuff he just said. Um, Thank both promoters for finally, you know, putting something together. And um, I just want to say, you know, I had a good year. Um, uh, thanks to Oscar, now signing with Oscar. Um, it, I'm just happier now, you know. Uh, I train happy. And um, I'm still getting the best fights and the tough fights out there. Uh, Benavides is a tough kid, young, prospect, hungry. You know, I'm real hungry too. We're both hungry. That's going to make it a great fight. Um, I just got a belt, an interim title. In March, it's a small bell, but before that, the history of my career you know, has been has been tough. I've been fighting the tough guys, taking a lot of punishment, going in wars, and um, I went through hell to get where I'm at. And maybe a small title now, and go and went through hell to get it. And it's not going to be easy for Benavides to come and just take that. Uh, there's a lot of work behind that small bell, right. but it's um, it's better. It's a sign that I'm going to go up for bigger things, get that world title, and bring it home. So uh, I gotta get Pat Benavides. He's a tough kid, and I'm taking him lightly, but you're gonna see a great show. December 13th, be there. Don't miss it. Thank you.